Okay, my name's Catherine and I run Kiss Me Deadly, um, a vintage inspired lingerie and today we are quite oddly at a very, very high tech company called Pimeroni, also based in Sheffield. Um, turns out they already know us because we taught them how to use the postal system and deal with customs uh, and we approached them because they have laser cutters. Normally they use them to make things like this. Uh, which is the Pibo case for the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi is a really cool little tiny computer, very cheap, very versatile, that's used for educating children and also for anybody else that's really into playing with IT stuff. I really recommend it. They do a whole range of gadgets and cases and components to go with it. Um, for that, they use the laser cutters. We approach them because Carolina has been making pasties for us. Not tiny hats, as the man in the shop thought. Um, and we line them with leather. This gold stuff is actually leather. I know it's shiny, but I promise it's leather. Um, and half the work in making the pasty is cutting the leather out and carefully making sure it's all beautifully symmetric and very neatly done. And a laser, laser cutter would be much, much better for that. Um, so we came to see if they could do that. And this was our first one, which we're quite pleased with. It's a bit big, you might have noticed. It doesn't, it's not in proportion. Uh, so we're still working on doing just plain circles, but we're also working on making laser cut leather lace, which we have found some of in a shop. Uh, this is a standard product. Uh, you may have seen it on some luxury items in certain shops and also if you're a Game of Thrones fan, you will have seen it on Tyrion Lannister's coat. We wanted to see if we could make some that was just for us. So we've mostly spent the day burning things so far. I can tell you that laser burnt leather smells really bad. Uh, and this was kind of one of our first few attempts, which you can see it's, it's not good. This is what happens in product development. The first few things are terrible. Um, it's really quite funky smelling. But we're now at this stage. This is a motif taken from one of the laces that we're using later this year. We've expanded it so that the laser cutter can cope with the, uh, the size of the holes in it. Um, and we're wondering if we can make it into something that you can use around your wrist or as a choker or on a bra strap because we've got quite a lot of detachable bra straps this year. Um, so hopefully, in another couple of hours, we might even have completely cracked this. Okay, bye! <laughs>